Hello, I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guides to CyberLink Power Director 12, 13, and 14. And here we are in version 14 looking at some of the cool new features that CyberLink has added to this wonderful program. One of my favorite new features is something called the Action Cam Center or the Action Camera Center. This is designed primarily as a one-stop shop for touching up and adding effects to your video from sport cams like the GoPro cam or other kind of action cams, although you can use it with traditional video also. So let's select a clip on our timeline. I'm going to go to the Tools button, and under the Tools button, we have a couple of options, including the Action Camera Center. The Action Camera Center is its own separate design center. See, it's a floating window here. And we have two tabs under the Design Center. One is a Fix tab, and you will find a lot of these same fixes available under the uh, regular Power Tools. But uh, here they're available right on the Action Cam tab, and these are things like lens correction. So if you've got a shot that was shot with an extremely wide angle lens, you can correct that and get rid of some of the distortion that occurs in there, that fish eye look. A video stabilizer for taking some of the shake out of handheld cam camcorder shots. White balance control, which you can certainly find in Power Tools, and a library of color presets. And these color presets are the same 20 presets that are available elsewhere in the program. My favorite section of the Action Camera Center, though, is under the Effects tab. Now, under the Effects tab, we can create something called Time Shifts. Now, some of these time shift controls are available under the Video Speed Designer, another great workspace that's been added in version 14. But let's take a look at how a time shift can be used. So we've got just this video here, and I'm just going to scrub through it. You can see of a woman bicycling past us. There she goes. Now, we can take a segment of this video and we can add a time shift to it. Now, in previous versions of the program, of course, you could have added slow motion or fast play to an entire clip, but now with the Action Camera Center and the Video Speed Designer, you can apply it or apply these kind of playback speeds to a specific spot in the video. So let's position the playhead here, and we'll create a time shift zone or time shift range, and we can do that either by clicking on Create Time Shift here or Create Time Shift there. It does the same thing. It creates a little zone or a range on the timeline uh, that we can apply our effect to. And it will only be applied to the video that's inside that range. I can make that as long or short as I'd like, and I'm just going to stretch it out. And as I do, you can see that we can see where the end point is. So it's right there as the woman goes by. And we are going to take this section of the video only, and we're going to apply a speed effect to it. So let's go down and we can apply a speed effect one of two ways. Right now, the current running time of this segment only is two seconds and 24 frames, just short of three seconds. And it, the speed multiplier is by default, of course, one X or one times its normal speed. Now, in order to apply a speed effect, I have to select that option here on this panel. And now, I can make the change to the speed playback of this range, either by changing the duration or the speed multiplier. And you see when I change one, it's going to change the other. So I'm going to change this to half speed. Now I can't type a 0.5, I have to type 0.5, but notice when I do, and when I press the enter key, that it changed the duration of the video also. So let's set our playhead back before the time shift and then we'll play it and you'll see that once we hit that spot, that range that we've set up, our video will suddenly go to half speed. So let's play it. There she is. Now she's at half speed. And then it'll shift back into regular speed. Now that shift is rather abrupt. If I select that range again or that time shift range again, I can set it to ease in and ease out. So now it's going to ramp down to that speed and then ramp back up again to normal speed as we approach the time zone. And you'll see that effect also. There you go. It slows to slow motion, and now it'll speed back up to normal. So it's not quite as abrupt. Now we can edit this range, and we can change it any way we want. I'm going to move it to about halfway through where she's passing by. And then I'm going to move the playhead back, and I'm going to create another range or another time shift range. Click on the Create Time Shift. I'm going to edit it and stretch it so that it's right up against 
the other time shift range. And what I want to do is make this range fast motion. So we'll apply a speed effect. This time I'm going to change the speed multiplier to two times speed. And now when we play it, it's going to go to fast motion and then suddenly shift to slow motion when it hits that second range. So let's play it. There it goes fast motion and then back down to slow motion. Now an option that is unique to the action camera center is the ability to add a repeat segment. And I'm going to delete the second range that I created just by selecting it and then clicking on the trash can. And I'm going to widen this range just a little bit. And then I'm going to go up to the top of the panel and I'm going to select apply, replay, and reverse. Now you'd have to apply both replay and reverse, but when I select it, it's going to replay this segment. Let's make it just a little shorter. There we go. And I'm going to select apply a reverse effect. So now this segment is going to play, then it's going to reverse and play again. So we'll play the timeline. Gets to the end of this segment, backs it up, and replays it. Pretty cool effect. There's also a tool in here. Let me just delete this range completely. There's also a tool in here for adding a freeze frame. Kind of cool. Now you can add a freeze frame a number of ways in the program, but this actually adds the freeze frame to the clip itself. So I'm going to select the option to add a freeze frame, and I'm going to make it a two second freeze frame. And notice the only indication on the timeline that there's a freeze frame is that little yellow tick mark at the top of the timeline. And as long as I select that, I can continue to make adjustments to this. I'm going to also apply a zoom effect. So what's going to happen, and you see I can customize how that zoom effect looks. It's going to get to this freeze frame. It will freeze the playback of the video, then suddenly zoom in and zoom back again. Let's see how that looks. There it is. So you can imagine the possibilities you'd have if you shot something with your sport cam or your action cam. This is one of the really cool new features that's available in version 14 of PowerDirector. And if you want to know more about this program, be sure to stop by moviepix.com and check out our tips and tutorials. If you want to know everything about the program, look for my book, The MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink PowerDirector 14. That is available on Amazon.com and, of course, right at the moviepix.com store. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.